Hello everybody. Now that we have the input file ready, we can go ahead and run the simulation. To do so, I'm going to hold down the shift key, right click in the same folder, and then click this option, open command window here. That brings the command window and abacus job equal to name of the job. Uh, CPUs equals 4, GPUs equal to 84. Uh, these numbers depend, uh, these numbers basically depend on your machine configuration and your licensing tokens that you have available with you. Um, and interactive. Don't forget to have interactive right there because that lets you see what's happening with the simulation. Now, once that is done, I'm going to hit enter old job okay uh, I have run this job already so that's why I had this option otherwise it would have run the simulation no because I already had it I'm going to show you the ODB that I obtained so after the simulation ran here's the respective ODB file let me go to abacus and open the result that I obtained job 2 dot odb open so here's the result now first thing notice that there are 10 masses and 9 springs here as opposed to the um, assembly here the one that we had created the assembly it had only 5 springs but The result here, it has 10 masses, which visually just, it, it's clear that this is the model that you created using the input file. Now, suppose I want the displacement of the first mass, uh, integration point, unique nodal, spatial displacement, U1 node set that's the point that I want the displacement of I am going to plot it so that's basically how it looks for now so if I had to save it I would just uh, click save ok dismiss so right click edit you could copy from here you, uh, you could just uh, press ctrl c and go to excel and paste it there you can always paste it alternatively you could go ahead report xy data and that value ok so that saves the result as um, an RPT file. I don't see it here, but abacus dot RPT. Anyway, so ah, there it is. So abacus dot RPT. So that is your. Uh, I'm gonna copy it. Paste it in Excel. the text import user so you have time versus displacement data so that's what you get when you export the result from the UI but there is another way of doing this wherein you don't use a GUI at all um, so for that you need to write an, a python script now I have this one script written which uh, I found it on a blog for which the author was um, this person here I've mentioned it within the code and then I modified the code to 
to basically serve our purpose of giving you uh, giving us a displacement of a given node and the variable that we want to um, record is also shown here now <coughs> first off job 2 is the odb file name and this is the name of the step that we are interested in and also like i said the variable here that reflects the node at, at which you want to find the displacement or field quantity that you specify here now once that is done have ab1.py the python script in the same folder as the um, odb file so job2.inp and job2.odb so make sure you have these two files in the same folder and then shift right click open command window here and enter abacus jo or abacus no g abacus cae 